Hi, this is Craig Phillips, owner of Quality Water Retrieval, also known as Craig the Water Guy. I hope you guys are doing good today. Hey, uh, I'm going to show you a video uh, and variate through it because quite a, a few things have changed since this customer installed their water softener and uh, shot an installation video for us. And uh, so I just want to uh, go over that video with you because a lot of our customers do watch this video and uh, just kind of go over the changes that have been made. Uh, he did a great job installing it. It's the first software he's ever installed, and uh, kudos to him for doing such a good job. It just goes to show you that uh, just about anybody can install one of these with the proper instructions, uh, along with our support and need it. Uh, we're there to help you out. So I'm going to go ahead and share my screen with you uh, so uh, we can go over that with you. Uh, just give me one moment here, and I'll go ahead and do that. We're going to blow this up here. A little blurry, but it should get better. Here is my new water softening system, the Soft Pro water system. This model happens to be the CS1HF, the high frequency. Okay, so uh, our Soft Pro softeners, we changed our models on them uh, to the Soft Pro Elite, Soft Pro Elite Basics, and uh, and so forth. So our softer, our Soft Pro water softeners are either the Soft Pro Elite systems. Uh, or uh, our soft pro Pira, okay? I uh, just want to clear that way, clarify that for you because uh, with your new system, it's gonna be a different model number than this CS1 series that he's talking about. Same exact system, just a different model as we renamed it. You can see water softener. This replaced the Flex 7000 SXT. Cool thing about this is you save up to about 60% more salt the control head has a seven year warranty on it and the brine tank has a lifetime warranty. I'm gonna do a little instructional video and show you how the whole thing goes together. I do recommend before you start, just like on any project, make sure that all your parts are here. So in this case, I do have everything here and uh, I got a little bit ahead of myself, but this is a cool funnel that comes with it. I've got the riser <laughs> tube inside and as you can see, I've already taped the uh, riser tube there so that none of the media goes inside. Okay, so uh, we've changed things to make things easier for our customers over the years. The manufacturer ships uh, from our 24,000 grade system, which is our smallest soft pro water softener, all the way up to a 64,000 grade system, completely loaded with the resin now. So you won't get any additional resin or this funnel because they're not needed uh, because it's already ready to go for you. Uh, now, if you purchase an 80,000 grade softener or larger, you will get some additional resin and you will get this funnel. So you'd want to follow the rest of these instructions here that our, our customer did for us uh, when he was installing his system originally. So I'm going to fill this thing up a quarter of the way with water and start filling it up with media. So now that I have water inside, I'm going to start off with the grapple port. Okay, so if you get, uh, again, 24 to 64,000 grade, you don't have to do any of this. It's already loaded for you. If you have an 80,000 grade or larger, the gravel and stuff is already in the tank. Uh, the tank is also already has uh, at least one or two cubic foot of resin in it. Uh, then you're gonna get some additional resin and this funnel here to add it. So when you get an 80,000 grade or larger, again, uh, you're just gonna add the resin that you received with your system to the tank. Uh, by using the funnel that we, we also supplied you with, and that's all you need to do. Now, for some reason, you did not get the funnel or it got broken in shipment. Uh, back in the old days, we didn't have funnels, so we just made our own funnel with cardboard or newspaper or whatever we had available. Uh, so that can be done just as easily. I just didn't want you to be stumped if something did happen to your funnel. You could move on without it, okay? I'm gonna go ahead and uh, fast forward this because there's really no reason to show you this part of it. And uh, we'll get to the resin part here. So if you did get additional resin, this is how I'm you would start add it. making an attempt to pour this inside the tube. Now, a, a full bag of resin is about 55 pounds. It's kind of heavy for some folks to do what he's doing. 
uh, if, if it is too heavy for you, just open the bag up and use a, uh, like a clean coffee can or something like that. And just scoop it out, just pour it in there. Um, it goes pretty quickly doing it that way as well. And once the bag, bag gets light enough for you to pick it up, then you can go ahead and pick it up and, and dump it in there. So we're gonna go ahead and fast forward this. There we go. So as you can see, I've already removed the tape off this. Carefully do that so you don't lift the riser tube up. Okay, I'm gonna stop here. Uh, he's gonna go ahead and lubricate this O-ring right here. Uh, they now come already pre-lubricated. If you did get a packet of this, you can save it for later or if you feel the O-ray needs it, you can add it. Uh, but again, it's already pre-lubed for you. The other thing that I've noticed watching the video that he did uh, on the desk at, on earlier, he had a white basket, a cone there. He forgot to add it to the bottom of the control valve. That cone snaps right into the bottom of the control valve right here. Just go ahead and do that when you get to your system and just kind of uh, give it a gentle tug, make sure it's on there securely before you screw the valve onto the tank. If for some reason you did not get a code uh, or got misplaced, uh, just give us a uh, call or contact us on the live chat or email and uh, let us know and uh, we'll get a code to you right away so you can complete your install. Please do not attempt to install the system without the code. It's very important that that code is on there. I just want to point that out to you folks. Inside the box comes a little bit of lube and you'll see a little O-ring that goes around here. So take some of this here, and they say use protective gloves, and just pretend like I have a protective glove on right here, and you loop, loop this O-ring pretty well around the outside, and, and I am assuming the reason why they want you to do that is it'll make it a good seal, and if you ever have to take it apart, it'll be a little bit easier to take apart. Okay, so I just put a light, nice little coating around there. Now, I wiggle the tank just a little bit to get that thing into the center, that tube into the center. And now I'm going to put this down on top and secure it down. As you can see, it turns on or twists on pretty darn easy. So bring it up nice and, and tight, but don't over tighten it. I would say that's probably good. Foot pounds, I have no idea. But there we go. Our control head is now mounted. So while we're here, I'm gonna go ahead and uh, turn this around. And I have the uh, bypass valve right here. And so I'm gonna pull these two little clips off. Take the bypass valve and slip that into position and then slide the little clips right back down on top. There we go. You heard that thing snap into place. Now the clips snap into place. And that bypass valve was that easy to connect. So I put the four legs on the brine tank or on the grid for the brine tank, and we're going to slide this brine or grid down into the bottom of the brine tank. Now notice that on the edge of the brine tank, there's a little hole right here that a tube slides down inside here. Forgive me, I don't know the name of it, but we'll know that here shortly. And you slide this down inside. Pretty simple. And then this long tube is going to fit down inside the hole. But first, take this hose. Okay, that hose right there is not connected anymore like that. Um, it comes into the bottom of the bride tank. Uh, so you just pull that out before you add that grid plate to it uh, that I showed earlier. 
uh, and then you connect it all after you insert your bride well. So again, this tube right here, it's not already connected. You do it after the fact now, make things easier for you to handle. Little hole here. And then you see down in the bottom, it's inside. Oh. And a little bit of a push. My apologies for the shaky video, but I'm going to unkink that line and be right back. As you can see, it's all plastic, so it's pretty forgiving. And so I'm going to take a little cap, cap on. And our brine tank has now been assembled. Take the lid. There we go. So brine tank unit, both of them have been done. It was that easy. So being a novice at this, um, I do want to mention that so this part you could disregard because again, the that brine tube he's talking about, it's not already connected. You connect it after the fact, so you don't have to worry about uh, this part of it. It's pretty simple. You just connect one side to the brine tank and the other side to the valve here, which he's gonna show here in a second. I also go over that on our other video, which is uh, named uh, how to unpack and install and set up your software water softener. Uh, you can also watch that video for more clarification if you like. I think the most effective way would have been disconnecting that tube from the inner cylinder of the brine tank and putting that in and then putting the tube through and connecting it. I'm a rookie at this, so please forgive me. So I do suggest before you put the long white tube inside the brine tank, just to take the this tube off, put it down inside the hole, run it through, connect the nut, and you'll be on your way. Yep. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to actually connect this brine tube. It's going to be connected to the controller. And it's real simple. There's a couple little parts here. We're going to take this little nut, put it through, this little piece on the end, and you can see here on the top, it swivels around either way. So what we're gonna do is put this baby right inside there. Push it down nice and snug. I hope you're able to see that okay because it looks like I got in the light just a little bit. Just like that. Tighten that down and it's that simple. So my line's gonna run this way just a little bit because I need to turn the thing around. It's going to sit right up against my pressure tank for the well. I'm going to put my tank in here. And I think what I'll probably do is I have plenty of line. I'll probably cut some of that line so that it's uh, a little bit more neat. But uh, the assembly for the Soft Pro water system is even as easy that an old guy like me can do it. There you go. So, yeah, he did a great job on this. He's never installed a software before. And, uh, he went through this pretty much like a pro. Um, so uh, anyway, that just goes to show you that anybody could install these with uh, proper instructions. And uh, also we have excellent uh, live technical support for our customers when they're installing their systems as well, uh, either by live chat, uh, either uh, email, or you can just give us a call on our toll-free number. And we'd be more than happy to help you out with any questions that you may have. Uh, for a more complete, uh, unpacking an installation video that I shot a while back ago. Uh, it'll go over how to hook the drain line up, how to uh, get your plumbing ready, as well as some other good tips. Uh, please uh, uh, go to our YouTube channel and look for the uh, how to unpack and install your software water softener and watch that video. Uh, it's very informative and it'll really clarify things for you even that much more. And uh, we really do appreciate your business and uh, you have a great day. Yeah. I figured out how to shut it off, right? Yeah. <laughs>